Be <laughs> Liam, why, why are you doing this? Why are you depriving yourself of real food? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different to the kind of stuff that you've probably already seen on this channel. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm going to try and live off only Huel for seven days. Now if you don't know what Huel is, it's this behind me. I'll explain a little bit more about it in a second, but just so we, everyone knows, I'm not getting sponsored to do this. I've not got an affiliate link for this or anything like this. I might share my refer a friend code so you can save 10 pounds off your next order below. But it's not about that. I'm just kind of just thinking of a little challenge that I can do for the channel. And also, I kind of want to see if it actually does benefit me and make me feel any any better. But if you don't know what Hewlett is, it's basically, um, it's a nutritionally complete food. It's a powdered food, um, kind of like protein powder, but not only has it got protein in, it's also got fat, it's got carbohydrates, it's got all of the recommended vitamins that you should be having in, in a day. So in theory, you can live off just this. So that's what I'm going to try and do. It's a bit, it's a bit weird, a bit of a challenge because obviously I'm not going to be eating any food. It's going to be all shakes. When they do sell Huel, they don't necessarily tell you that you should be having it for every single meal. It's kind of something which you could, you could have to replace maybe your breakfast if you're in a rush or you want to replace your breakfast and your lunch if you're working long hours and you're busy. It's kind of, it's made for like this CEO entrepreneur type person that's so busy they can't sit down to eat, which is kind of why I wanted to give it a go. And hopefully it should make me feel healthier as well because I'm vegan and sometimes it's hard to hit all of your macros. So get the right amount of fat in, get the right amount of protein in, get the right amount of carbohydrates in, a good balance. Sometimes I'm lacking in my protein, sometimes I'm having way too much carbs. So this is a good way of just getting exactly what you need in. But as I say, most people do just replace one or two meals, but I'm just going to go all in. I'm going to try it out as a little test. It's a little bit of a challenge. See how it goes. I think I'm going to start having the chocolate. And I'll have this on camera now. And then what I'm going to do is I'll just, um, I'll keep giving updates on this camera every couple of days, just letting so you know I'm getting on to see whether I'm actually sticking to it. Because I think I am worried that I'm not going to feel fulfilled. Because even if you are ticking all your macros, there's nothing better than having a nice big plate of pasta or a burger or something like that. Um, so I do feel I might not be feeling um, fulfilled, but we're going to find out anyway. It's all part of the challenge. I'm trying it so you don't have to. <laughs> It's actually pretty nice. So I mean, this doesn't feel like it's going to be that much of a challenge. This doesn't, this doesn't feel like it's going to be like that, 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 that challenge. Ah! I think the, the issue is it's going to be, it's not the flavour or anything like that. It's not even the consistency, it's whether I'm going to feel fulfilled, but we'll give it a go. I don't like to do things by halves. There we are. One heel down. A lot more to go over the next seven days. Good morning, so it's day two of the seven day Huel diet. Um, I've just woken up, about to go to the gym. Thought I'd give a quick update. Last night when I was asleep, I did have a little bit of stomach ache. Um, like my tummy didn't feel like it was agreeing with it too well. Um, but obviously that is probably just because I've changed my diet because it actually does say in the little booklet that they give you, um, it actually does say about transitioning to Huel and it says, uh, if you switch into Huel, it represents a dramatic change in your diet, then it's only natural that like, your gut will have an opinion um, and a sudden change could um, may cause bloating, flatulence, la 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 la. So basically, it's all normal that I did have a bit of an upset stomach and I am taking it to the extreme because I'm having it as every single meal, every day for seven days. So I'm not too worried about that, but I just wanted to give a quick update. Um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on and have my next Huel shake. What time is it? It's your time. Dinner. Good morning. Um, excuse the morning head. It's day three of doing this this Huel diet. It's fair to say that my stomach 
he's not agreeing with it at this moment in time. Um, so yeah, I basically had like summer cake again all night. This morning I went to the toilet, don't even want to give away too much information, um, but basically I've come to the thought process that if you're only consuming liquid-based diet, surely only liquid-based diet will come out unless there's some other science because that's kind of what's going on. So I didn't think about that before, but obviously that makes sense now. Um, but yeah, my stomach's like sore and I was tossing and turning all night. So it's not going great as far as my stomach's concerned. Um, I'm still going to carry on today. Um, I carry on and see because it does say, it mentions this in the booklet. It says, do not go drastically change to this diet. So I am going against what they're saying. So it's nothing against Huel. It's because I've literally changed my diet. Um, I'm going to carry on today. Try um, and have some more Huel. See if it gets any better. Um, yeah, and we'll see how I get on. But I'm actually going to go to the gym now and I'm not going to have a Huel this morning. I'm going to wait until this afternoon because I'm not even hungry. I'm just like, I've just got a bit of stomach ache. So yeah, I'm going to skip the morning one and have one later. But yeah. So I just got back from the gym. It's pretty hard to shake after you've just done a workout. So yeah, we're, a half, we're over halfway. But I think I can do it, but I'm also thinking like, Liam, why Why are you doing this? Why are you depriving yourself of real food? Hugh's not designed to, I mean, it is designed to replace food, but it's not designed to replace all food. So why don't you just replace like two of your meals? Um, but we'll see, but like, as I say, I'm saving so much time. So it has got benefits um, and I've got loads of work done. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with the day. <sighs> so it's fair to say that I am very, 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 very close to giving up. I need some real food inside my body. My body just, just like, ugh, because I, I, I'm due to have another shake now. But I just, I just want something proper, something savoury. I was actually just considering sacking it off, deleting the video, having some food and just forgetting about it, but I've decided to give it one last shot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and make some porridge out of Huel. So just using Huel, Huel and water, it's the same kind of thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in a bowl, um, make it a little bit thicker and eat it with a spoon. Maybe that will satisfy me a bit more um, and feel a bit more like a meal. But we'll give it a go. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Huel. Oh, here we go, let's give it a go. Here goes. This is actually the first time I've sat down to eat a meal. I know it's not really a meal in the last four days. And the funny thing is I was I just randomly started singing. I made a meal and threw it up on Sunday. Subliminally, I wonder why I was singing that song. Here goes. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I mean, it's no different to a Huel in a shake, really. It's not horrendous, but it's still not filling that gap of a meal. I do worry, though, that doing things like this, like this kind of extreme diet, I've done a couple of other little things recently, that I might actually change my mindset so I stop enjoying real food and like not just real food because obviously this is huge but i mean stop enjoying like junk food and stuff like that which i mean in an ideal situation you wouldn't eat junk food but then i do think that imagine how boring life would be if you just had salads or you just had huel and you just had this really boring life so i do hope that i do like to do things like this and it's pushing it to the extremes but i don't think i could ever eat so strict and so 
so boringly for the rest of my life because it's like, what's the point in living? I cannot believe that I'm saying it, but I've finally done it. I've gone seven full days without eating a single bit of food, apart from one chip, but don't tell anyone. And just drinking Huel for the whole of the seven days. It's, um, it's been a, about 168 hours, which is fully seven days since I last ate some proper food. So I'm gonna stop this evening, uh, and I'm actually gonna go out for a meal and just have some proper food in me. Um, but yeah, it was a crazy experience. Um, whether I think it's advisable to do, I probably wouldn't do this again. I wouldn't go seven full days without eating any food. But saying that, I've not got anything against Huel. I think it's a great product and I do think that I will continue to use Huel in my diet because it does give you all the nutrients you need and it saves so much time. Um, but I'm just gonna like replace the odd meal or maybe just have like um, breakfast and lunch having Huel and then I have a proper evening meal because that's just for my sanity because I was almost going insane without having proper food inside me. Um, so yeah, I'm still gonna keep using it because it is great for saving time and it has given me so much time. So this week I've put in a lot of work, a lot of hours and I've saved so much time. So it has definitely had its benefits. Um, I don't feel that different in terms of like, I don't feel healthier because I've had more vitamins. I mean, I felt all right in the gym. I've not felt any weaker apart from like the hunger and I had a bit of pain, but I've not actually felt weaker. Um, so I do think it's, it's filled the gap and given me all the nutrients that I need. Um, but I'm not feeling any different. Like, I don't feel better because I thought there would be a chance that because I'm getting all of my nutrients and stuff like that, I would feel like have more of a spring in my step, which hasn't really happened, but nothing's gone um, negatively with that either. So all in all, it was a, it was a positive experience. <clears throat> I think I've lost about like two pounds, which is, a, which is good, but I wasn't doing it to lose weight. I was just doing it to try and save time and also uh, to see whether it's possible. And I finally did it. So I'm over the moon that I did it. Now I'm off to get some proper carby, proper food. Um, I'll put some pictures up of the meal that I'm going to eat, but that's everything for this video. Um, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll leave my refer a friend link in the description below so you can get £10 or $10 off your next order of Huel if you're a new customer. Um, I'll also get £10 off my order as well, so it's win-win for both of us. Um, let me know what you think of Huel, and if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future content like this. Thanks for watching, and here's the pictures of my meal.